Hello everyone, my name is Clintus and welcome to the clan and without further ado, let's get into this video. This morning I feel much better. Oh, yesterday, whoa, I don't know what was happening with my throat. It was so groggy and so scratchy and husky. I was a little bit under the weather, but I feel much better. I think by yesterday evening, I started feeling much better than I was feeling when I woke up. It was a hectic weekend, guys. I had an event on Friday and then on top of that on Sunday, I had a long meeting which took forever and i think all of that kind of like got to my body and i was exhausted because i was sleeping like a baby even though babies wake up and cry at night i don't know where that say come from but anyways guys please smash me the like button so that we can fetch more honorable clan members from wherever they may be without knowing that they are actually honorable members of the clan by you smashing the like button and I appreciate you guys whenever you adhere to this call of action. So anyways guys, I have another clip. Now this time around it is of the cross-examination of uh, Magistrate Cronier. And some few things that you kept saying there, I was like, girl, what's happening? Senzo Mayo was killed on a Sunday, not on a Saturday, what's happening? Where is the Saturday coming from? And then once again, uh, these contradictory uh, statements uh, that Muzi also uh, deposed. And then we, I was like, what's happening here? What's going on, people? I, oh, I think we already know what's going on, guys. They are trying to establish a police mafia state and they are using this case as a litmus paper. That is exactly what they are doing. They are just making sure that South Africans are conditioned and prepared and also start developing some kind of fear because let me tell you something, when I think about this, it does send shivers down my spine that this could be the road that South Africa is going to be traversing on. And five years is a very short time to establish such a police mafia state. Ask all the other autocrats and uh, dictatorships. It did not take that long for the people of uh, those countries to install or to instill fear in them until they were well conditioned and then all those dictators ended up doing as they pleased. If you were the enemy of the state, you were eliminated. The death penalty, the reason why it is not trusted by many people is because it has been used wrongly to deal with political oppositions, to deal with people that try to hold the government accountable. It's been used for so many things and we can see with the po police brutality where this is going. Do you think a person like me and my colleagues on this platform, they do what we do? We would be around in a police mafia state? Of course not. The moment you start talking opposition to what they are doing, you would be dealt with. And then what I was hearing from Cronier when he when she was being cross-examined, particularly by Mr. Ramusipili, I was like, hmm. And Mr. Mgomezul, I was like, girl, what are you going on about? Do you want to see your grandchildren raised in a police or mafia state? I don't think so. I believe that your job or I believe that your dream was to fight for justice when you went to law school. What happened to that dream? What happened to keeping the streets of South Africa clean so that you and your family and their generation also walk the streets of South Africa safe? What happened, ma'am? Anyways, guys, before I speak way too much, here's the clip. We'll discuss this at a later stage later today. So, enjoy your day. Uh, paragraph 13 of the performa that you were referred to this morning. Where you testify that the annexure that is now exhibit JJ1 uh, is comprised of one to six pages and just on that well, that part, the highlighted part, which says NB, each of these pages must also be signed by the magistrate, the deponent, and the interpreter. And then we go to exhibit JJ1. Uh, at the bottom of each of the pages, I can refer to them. Uh, that's what appears to be a mark on the left. At the bottom. On the far left. On the far left, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, who made that mark? Can we just get clarity? Is it this? Yes. 
It's my signature. And then we see the initials, uh, BS in the middle, and then what appears to be ET uh, on the right. Mm -hmm. uh, the BS, who made that? The deponent, and the ET was made by the interpreter. Asi ege go lai guti go kate upani le base bunne mpa u eti zebega tianziwe uba ano oyenzele mpa u ti signature yami u ti futum numza nura musipi di guna lavu palo u p s base gu palo anento ebo nagalinga tu eti uba ano opale u p s uba ano opale u eti u ti u p s u palo msolo u eti u palo u toli. But in terms of page seven of nine paragraph thirteen it says. Pages one to six must be signed, not mm. initialed, mm. by yourself, the statement taker, the deponent, and the interpreter. Mm. Do, you have, do you want to comment on that? It was initialed by each one. I took it as a signature, although not the full signature. Every person signed in my presence on each page. Got to argue now. And the last page, as per page... Eight of the pro forma, full signatures were attached. Go to again up, who put away over to one get a map page, one minute assigned. I over to go by my initials. When not in Jem of our got the old one salap, who put in the lock, who to me and touch your over to Jem of our palama initials. Gaboni so good to buy up, my lento a palo lapo, mina in a punyanga, over to my palle and my initials. They say a mover a penny in the back when I say what to buy a sign. I'm a full signature. Now we're going to be able to get the full signature. I'm a full signature. God will give me the title. Enjoy. Now, regarding exhibit JJ in brackets one, that is the st uh, statement itself, uh, did you, as the story was narrated to you, uh, did you ask any clarification questions on issues that were not clear to you, or you just wrote as it was narrated to yourself. I wrote as it was narrated to me. Manjeka, I go to jail and jump over his statement to Saskate Sikudunya when I'm Fabo, Olivero, Uba Misa, Ubuza, Imibuzo, Uba, Launga, Tatasalanga, Laubanga, Tatasalanga, Pona Utica, Benga, Tengipan, and Jemo Babaga, the Bengi chair. I did ask one question, and that is about the word Carlos and Carlos because I couldn't clearly hear what he said. Umbuzo, what were on Yanga Ubuza? Imaela na neka ma u Carlos no ma u Carlos waba nganga tenginge zwa uguti waiga te eti nu umso. And was that ever clarified whether it was a Carlos or a Carlos? He indicated that it is interchangeable and that it is Carlos or Carlos, but for him it's Carlos. Uti ge lao le uye wa sho uguti lelo kama i kama uguti le mate ni certain ziswe woma bini u Carlos no ma u Carlos. Now, with respect, uh, because you were narrating as you were told, this edition that you were taken through, that I, I was the only one without a firearm, and I had a small one in my, po uh, in my pocket. At what stage then was this added? That was added by the uh, deponent on his request after the full statement was taken already and it was interpreted back to him and he then told the interpreter that he wants to make an addition to that part which he did manjege lenda wole uti ubuye kwa 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 na ye uti lenda wola uti wa banga tengi nge naso ispamu kwa tabi mpete es nane es kwa meni utu aliselwe ni nilapo Utige, zbutu aliswe ngemba kwa uti statement sonke, saska tese skunde ilwe umsolwa, bese ya na wache la utoligi, uguti mina, bengela uguti utu aliswe la payana, ngemba kwa uguti sektu alisiwe, kwa fundu wa futi, ya na wati yebo, statement bega funu kusenza na isu. As the court places, man, these are the questions that I had for the witness. Yes. Mr. Gomizul? Court places. I've got questions, man, not for for the witness. <coughs> Mrs. Cronier, we are here dealing with the statement. 
which is taken as a confession. Do you agree? I think for the benefit of the accused persons to understand the logic and the reasons why I'll be asking this question is because I want them to follow uh, that the statement that you say it was made by accused number two was a confession. Do you understand it? I understand. Yes, I'll just make a, 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 an example from the questions that I'll be asking. For instance, if in a plea in terms of section 112 two of the Criminal Procedure Act, the accused pleads guilty to a particular offense. As a presiding officer, if you are not satisfied with the elements of that particular offense, you are not going to accept that plea. Is that correct? Yes. We object against that line of course examination. Firstly, um, it's irrelevant, and, 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 and secondly, the duty of this witness was just merely to record what what she was being told, and, and, and not to make any determination. My Lord, uh, <clears throat> at the end of the day, as a presiding officer, officer, she had to determine whether what was given to her. No, no, she doesn't no. have that duty. <coughs> no, my Lord. May I be given an opportunity to You say she has to determine. I, I can't allow that question. She determines nothing. I determine. She requests. My argument, may I be given an opportunity okay, fine, to fine, go on. I'm saying the witness is coming to assist the court to make a determination. The court cannot make a determination in the absence of anything that is placed on record. This is a presiding officer. So the presiding officer, at the end of the day, the court must make a determination whether it was an admission or a confession. That those bases, they must come from the witness who gives formal evidence. Yes, you're right. That's correct, my lord. And she records, she records what the witness tells her. That's correct. Not what she thinks the witness should tell her. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's it. I think I'm misquoted. We are not, because you're saying she determines. She determines nothing in terms of the law. Nothing. What? Let me just make this question mm. straightforward to the witness. What is put to you when you were taking the was it a confession? <laughs> Was it a confession? The confession is an admission of guilt in its true sense. It's not for me to determine if he confessed here or not. It's for me to write down what he said, <coughs> to produce it to court, and for this court to take it into account with all the other evidence to determine. <laughs> Yes, I agree with you. But my concern is you are here to testify under the provisions of section 219. Because the performance that you completed, the rights that you explained to the to the deponent related to 
the provisions of section 217, sorry, 217, not 219. So this court, this court must, at the end of the day, determine whether what was taken from accused number two was an admission or a confession. The of, here the of is correct, ni acne. The court, the, as you say, uh, you are right, the court, not me. Correct. Manje, in Kanto, the Wamele Itati is no more so good. Logo, Bogate, Ugu Nigua, Noma, Logo, Bogate, Ubala, Ugu Konyuga, Noma, Ugu Vuma, Itala, Utiebo, Ukuma, Ikonis. I mean, God in Kanto. What makes you to say accused number two made a confession before you? What makes you to say that? This deponent came and he said that he wants to make a confession. Dit is nie vir my as voorsittende beamte en wat op daardie stadium nie in die hoofd was om te besluit dit wat hy wil vertel uit sy eie vrye wil is a bekentenis of is net klomp erkennings of is niks nie. Uh, it was not for me then as a presiding officer and who was not in court on that particular day to then determine or decide whether this was a confession, a mere or a just a mere admission or nothing. He did not appear before court. It was not for me to then uh, uh, take uh, to, in other words, uh, to uh, evaluate the evidence on the, to evaluate that which he was saying. Manje yin in the words are Uti Uti Umso Langalis Kati Egu Waiga de Gunyuga Uti Mina Um Sevenzuami Um Solo of Biga Wati Ufuna Ugu Gonyuga Um Sevenzuam Begu Gutingi Pan and Loku Abegate Egusho Kwaka Tikuna Sum Sevenzuam in Jemoba Nango Kungu Manch Gota Benga Shalanga Enkantolo Lai Guti Bengizwa Amatala Bengi Lale Lanje Yonke into Abagate Aisho Gi Palangale on Tela Ebegate A Shongayo and also the attachment of this document does not then indicate or say that uh, what he then said on that day uh, comes down to a confession or not. Ma'am, the state called you to give evidence that you as the magistrate on that day, the 24th of uh, June 2020, under the provisions of section 21 217-1B, if not mistaken, Roman figure 2, you took a confession under that provision. Now you testify that the accused made a statement. What makes you to say the accused person was confessing before you? My Lord, I've already answered the question. And uh, it won't change, I don't know whether you want me to repeat it. As long as I'm not satisfied with the answer, I'll keep on asking it. Because it's a technical point that I'm going to raise. We are all lawyers. Uh, Let me just rephrase it by saying, accused number two did not come to... to, to it before you and say, I want to make a confession. Correct? Not in those words. Thank you. That's what I'm drawing, drawing your attention to. You never said I'm coming to make a confession. Again, it will be a good sort of a spin, a gazany as a good arty, the fissa ubuko nyoga, uti nango, anga shango, anga shongo, ngalao maka. It's for the presiding office or that magistrate to determine that such elements of a confession does not qualify. 
difficult place we have There's checked. no law like that. You can, you can sit down. There's no law like that. There's no law like that. Okay. <coughs> 217. Yeah, but you're not quoting 217. My Lord, can, I, can, can, I, can we be brought minded when we <coughs> make yes. submissions? Within the law, no may problem. I, may I submit to the effect that Section 21718 that deals with a non judicial officer who's taking a confession. He must take it before a magistrate. Why? Why the country ask the question as to why must it be taken before a magistrate? Because it says a peace officer who takes a statement from the suspect or the accused in terms of section 21718 it must be reduced into writing before a magistrate. The question is why before a magistrate? The answer is because the magistrate knows all the elements of a particular yeah, offense. Let me tell you how the law developed. 1929, there's a case called S versus Mullen. You know that case, Mr. Hello? 1929, S versus Mullen, where it's transplanted from English law where it was said that a confession is an unequivocal admission of all the elements Correct. of a particular a, offense. That's it, yeah. Correct. And the law develops from there. Now, this witness, that's why, for instance, I'm sorry to say it, she wrote everything this witness tells her, like even saying, he saw at me and said, shit, whatever. Her job is not to evaluate what the witness is saying to her. Her job is to take down what the confessor or the deponent wants to say. That's all. But the That's why she's written for instance that uh, the, the parents of uh, some of these accused had but a meeting and some of the sisters of the accused wanted to, to report to the police. All those things. You can't leave them out. No, but I appreciate the fact that the court has mentioned the case of Malin. I know it. Yes. My Lord, <laughs> at the end of the day, yeah. at the end of the day, after the, 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 this witness has taken a statement from accused number two. That's it, yeah. Yes. The elements for her to say unequivocally that statement constitute a confession. It's not for her to say that. That's what you I understand. It's I'm, I'm getting to the technical part of that because the, the basis for getting into that technical part I'm getting into the statement itself, the contents of the statement. May I just get into the statement so that I'll make logic at a later stage when I'm making submissions? For instance, ma'am, let's get into this one. <coughs> you talked about accused number one. Okay, you talk about <coughs> accused number two uh, uh, going to the room of Muzi. Then they later went to to room 1B. Remember saying that? Musa kumbula ugu tu kulmengo msona waka uesgini eti uye waya e kumbini lake umuzi mabaka tabaha mabaya e room 1B. Aki trenuti liyer. I now take down. Gipale ugu ti. And I go on. And I quote. We were in Moses' room, and we then proceeded to Sophisus and Ntokuzisi's room, room number 1B, and what? Saskates se kumbin liga Muzi, sa hamba saya e kumbin liga Sifiso, u room number 1B, e liga Sifiso no Ntokuzis. Yes. Yes. In that, in that statement that you took, you also, it, it is mentioned that accused number two was sent to the kitchen. Am I right? Mr. Accused number two, the department. Yes, the department. Can you manage to revise that the idea the Can you just point Just after that, can you read that statement? <coughs> Proceed with that statement. When they entered into a Sifiso's room in 1B, then proceed on that statement. 
This way, the same way where they said the deponent was sent, he, he went out and left. Can I can't go through the whole statement. Can you no, send no. me to a page? Okay. In terms of... I found it in page 4. As that the deal is now where now I verse. That's where that you are referring to. Yes. Um, where that lies, and I go on. Carlos and Sefisu then ordered me to go to the kitchen. Correct. Is it the idea? Is it that one? Yes. Uti ge yona lewe Carlos no Sefisu ba e bati me na ye ekishini uti ye bo yona ingi funa. Yes. I just want to <coughs> note that part that you said. Carlos and Sefisu said. I must go to the kitchen. Carlos and Sofisu then ordered me to go to the kitchen. Correct, yes. So in that statement, will you agree with me that <coughs> there was no direct communication between Kelly Kumalo and accused number two? In that statement that you have read. Kelly or <coughs> did not directly communicate with accused number two. There was no such information given to me to write down. So, Gumela na nami oguti bule so statement de agu ko lai oguti ukeli kumalo uye wakuluma nomsola westbini ukabolo ake oguti agu ko langi chelo oguti ukulume na ye inga kunga ipala. All right. There's this statement further con <coughs> proceed to say they. When they entered, sorry, let me just rephrase it because I just want to draw your attention from what you were taken to, uh, you were told to take down. Just bear with me, my lord. Just okay, 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 no. Yes. I'm trying to uh, organize a question that will be relevant for. for, for Yeah. If you'd be able to ask this, answer this question, I just want to establish whether when you ask about clarifications that you've made or you sought when accused was giving you or the deponent was giving you the the statement. Did <coughs> it come to your mind that he was coming he was confessing to a particular offense? For instance, did it come to your mind that that deponent was confessing to a robbery? <coughs> At that stage for clarification. What I think it of the story of Nisha Dunk is irrelevant in the name of the Clara. What I thought or didn't think at that particular moment is irrelevant uh, when it comes to the taking down of the statement. That is Katum Sora Ekuma now when we are talking about Tambo, which is Sora, why that the Kulubu Banjo, Gwen Kunzi, which is even got the Gitavana, they got the Wunga Bandaganga. Hij moest toegelaten worden om uit zijn eigen uit te vertellen wat hij ook al wil vertellen, zodat het neergepin kan worden. He had to be allowed to say whatever it is that he wanted to say, so that it it is it's being written down. Zonder om hem in een of andere richting in te drukken worden, hij niet eens wil gaan. Without putting him or cornering him into a particular direction which he did not want to go into. Um, so lawyer, na bego mele akulu me noma yini le bega te efunu we kulu manga pantlo go guti afabu e we ko e koneni LTs. Imutne kines ni mbani repeshu na means to come as persetene ba amta asalandros 
Om een bekentenis te maken, weet jij graag niet waar we hulle met jou wil praten. You must also take into account that when a person is brought before you as a presiding officer, a magistrate, uh, that you know nothing about what it is that they want to tell you about. Ukumule futi nobuti umuntu uma ele tuwa pamu wako njengo manchi awaz luto yendo wa mele ayikulumi. Ik heb geen kennis gedragen van die zaak of die feiten van die zaak nie en ek het nie geweet wat hy wil hee, ek moet neerskryf nie. Al dis hoe kom ek om geloos het dat hy praat wat hy wil sê. Ik moet ook nog een account dat ek nie weet de kees of de feit of de merit van de kees wat het is dat hy wilde sê. So you need to be allowed to say whatever it is that you want to say. Ukumbule futi mina nganga tengingazu utibe kwa mele atini nganga tengingazu futi nganga alo nero tala manje bengazu uti yini e kwa mele ngi ipade nga pantle kukuti nilalele logo obe wate ebu kuluma. My lord, ebu. Thank you. Thank you. But no further questions. Right, Mr. Mbunisi. But no questions. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. I have no questions. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Michelle. No questions, my lord. Okay.